What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another comic book mystery box video. Today I'm gonna to be opening up the second mystery box that I purchased from this Facebook Marketplace seller. I already opened up the first one on the channel and I did get some really great stuff. I had the Transformers Universe set issue one to four. I had a couple other sets in there as well and a lot of great comics, but again, no keys. Now we're gonna be doing a second box today. This box cost $25 for 25 comics. So you're paying a dollar each, so expect no hidden gems or anything like that. But in the last video, I did get some pretty decent stuff and stuff that I could add to my collection. And at $25 for 25 comics, to me, that is definitely worth the gamble. So today we're gonna to be opening up a second one here. Now, just like I said in the last video, in his listing, he did say that only about 90% of his comics are bagged and boarded. In the last video, we lucked out all of them were bagged and boarded. Hopefully, we stay with that trend, but let's get right into it. I have the box right next to me, but again, you guys don't want to see the box. You guys want to see the comics. So, I'm going to pull them out one at a time and share them with you guys, and hopefully, we get some really great stuff. I already am eyeing what is on top, and I can't believe it's actually in a mystery box. So, let's just start there. And that is issue two of the What If Volume 2, What If Daredevil Killed Kingpin. Now this is a comic that a while back I was looking for and I already picked it up and then I ended up getting it in this mystery box. So these comics here, a lot of sellers range in their prices. Some are around $5 each, some sell them for around $10 each. This has a price tag of $6, so only paying a dollar for it. Definitely was a great deal, but I wasn't expecting anything like this. The only thing I wish is that I did pick this mystery box up before I did purchase this comic because I did pay for the one that is my personal collection. I did pay a lot more than $1 for it. Next up, we do have a Punisher annual. This is annual number four from 1991. It's kind of thick, that's really cool. You have Daredevil and Captain America on the cover as well. Of course, Daredevil makes sense, but Captain America, that's gonna be an interesting read. Do have a foil co uh, cover, the Infinity Crusade issue number one, the gold foil. Again, already something I have in my collection. I always tend to drive towards foil comics and other things like that so that I personally collect. So that is really cool to get out of a mystery box at least. Uh, we do have X-Factor issue four. Um, not familiar with it, this is too new for me. Then we have uh, X-Factor annual number eight from 93. We do have annual number nine for X-Factor. Uh, then we do have another Punisher here. Uh, this is an annual uh, life form part one of four. So we only have the first one unless it's mixed in here. So that is really cool. Next, we do have another foil comic. So I absolutely love getting the foil comics and most of these ones, I already have my personal collection, but that, that is the Secret Defenders issue number one. I already have, I think, one in my personal collection, obviously, but I think I already have two copies of this for sale as well. So it's something that I keep finding. And again, I found another comic or another copy of it. Um, this one does look like it's in great condition. I don't see any tears or anything. There's no dents in the foil, which is something I tend to find with my foil comics. So that's a really cool one. And we also have the Secret Defenders issue number two. So really cool. Next is something, this might be the oldest comic that I received uh, for this character, and that is Daredevil issue 153. That is a pretty old one. Um, and I'd like you would expect with an older one, there is a little blemish here, a little fold. Uh, there looks to be some waviness on the corner here. So what you'd expect from an older comic, but that's really cool to get out of this mystery box. Next up, we have finally one that is not bagged and boarded. Uh, that is X-Force number one, just bagged, but still really cool. We have a few other X-Force as well. We have issue three, so we're missing issue two. We have three, we have issue number four, issue number five, six, 
And seven, and that looks like the last X-Force one. All of them were just bagged, not bagged and boarded, which is okay because the seller did say that only 90% of them were bagged and boarded. And in the last video, all of them were, so I expected to get some in this one that were not bagged and boarded. Next up, we have more West Coast Avengers. This is issue 91. We did get a few in the last video. So we have 92 as well. And it keeps with a trend with him. So he must have a whole lot of comics and he just pulls a few out of West Coast Avengers or Punisher or whatever. So there is a little bit of a run with them. So we have 93. 95, so we are missing 94. And 96, so that's pretty cool. Uh, more West Coast Avengers comics, because we did get some in the last video. Uh, we have a Fantastic Four Annual. This is Annual 23, 1990. We have Fantastic Four versus the X-Men. Now this is a set that I already have in my collection, but this is issue number two. So we don't have a complete set of that today, but we did get some foil comics and some other goodies as well. We have X-Force issue 30. Very interesting, some more X-Force. This one's bagged and boarded though. And then we do have X-Men issue 296. And this one from the looks of it, it is sealed. So this is part of the uh, Executioner's Song, which is a set. Uh, I actually have a complete set in my collection, but it's awesome to see that they still are uh, you can still find them out in the wilds that are sealed in the original bags and this included a tra trading card which is likely in the back Hopefully this is not open bagged because sometimes I do find these in the wilds where they're in the original bag But they're cut open and the trading card is already taken out So hopefully it's not that case Hopefully it is sealed because that is a very cool comic But nonetheless all of these comics in my opinion were really really Interesting for $25. I got 25 comics. We got a what if comic. We got a couple foil comics some things that I already have in my personal collection Unfortunately, but for $25 in my opinion that was a great deal So I've already bought two of these from this seller and I've opened both of them up on the channel I want you guys to comment down below should I get a few more of these boxes and open them up on the channel? Do you think my luck is going to continue or do you think after this? I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of low-end stuff, but again, you're only paying a dollar per comic, so for $25, to me, it might be worth the gamble, but I want you guys to let me know what you guys think. Should I get some more, or should I go and try to get some other stuff for you guys to see as well? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.